Greetings everyone. In this video, we will quickly learn how you can add an SSL certificate to your website. Basically from this not secure to this secure. Let's get started. For more WordPress content, please subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon. Now let us install SSL to our website. Let me quickly open our site. Let's learn WordPress.com. So this is our website. If you see it here, it says not secure. It's basically starting from HTTP. If I write S here and enter, it says the connection is not private. To fix it, we need to add an SSL certificate. Most hosts do provide free SSL. If it does not, then we will add it for free. We will be using Cloudflare. So go to cloudflare.com. Let's sign up to Cloudflare. Use your email and add a password and sign up. So we are in the dashboard. Click on add site. Let me copy the URL and paste it here. We don't need this HTTP and add site. So there are various paid versions, but we will use a free one. Select and continue. And it will scan the existing DNS. You can leave this www as it is and turn the other off. And also this main domain is on. Basically this, and this should be on. All done. Continue. After this is done, we need to change our DNS name servers from this to this one. We can change DNS from where the domain was purchased. In our case, this domain was purchased from Namecheap. Let me quickly log in to Namecheap. Enter the login details. Here is our domain. Click on Manage. And on Name Servers, choose Custom DNS. Please note that every host may look different but you should be able to change DNS. Let me simply copy the Cloudflare DNS to name G. And save. DNS changes might take up to 48 hours to take effect to see if the DNS has been changed or not. Go to IntoDNS.com and write the domain name. Remove HTTP and report. So the DNS changes have been made. Go back to Cloudflare, click on Done and check name servers. You can finish later or click Get Started. Automatic HTTPS rewrites is unsafe. Always use HTTPS. Turn on and save. I will just leave this and save it. Leave this to default and save. All done. Click on finish. Now. Again, check name servers. You might have to wait for a while as DNS changes might take some time globally. It can take up to 24 hours. In the meantime, if I click here and go to my profile, I need to verify the email. To do that, open your email. And here is Cloudflare's email. Open and click on the link. 
it is done. Go to Dashboard. You can see it is still pending name servers. As mentioned earlier, it can take quite some time, up to 48 hours. You can again request to check the name servers, but only once per hour. Click on this logo to go to the dashboard. Now, the only option is to wait. So the website is finally active. We had to wait about 15 to 20 minutes. After it is done, click here. You will see great news. Cloudflare is protecting your site. However, despite this message, sometimes the SSL may not be reflected on your website. To check, click on SSL slash GLS and go to Edge Certificates. For SSL to work, make sure this is active. If it is pending, SSL won't reflect on your website. If I click here, we will have Let's Encrypt SSL with three months validity and is managed by Cloudflare. This certificate will be automatically renewed by Cloudflare, despite it might have three months of date. If you click on Overview, you can also use Flexible, Full or Full Strict. Leave it to default. Only change it if you have any issues on site. So that SSL has been added. Let me close everything. Now let's see if the SSL is working or not. Try with HTTPS. So it is still showing issues. What happened is, since we changed the DNS, it will take time to reflect globally. Let's try with the VPN. I am using the UltraSurf Chrome extension, but you can use any VPN. Let me try again. I am still seeing this error. Let me confirm the country. Search what is my country. So the country's location is the United States. This error could be because of two reasons. One, DNS changes have not been reflected, or two, it could be the cache on Chrome. Let's try clearing the cache. Press Ctrl plus H. Click Clear History. Choose accordingly, but please note that all your data will be deleted. I will choose the last hour and clear data. Let me again try and see. I will open it in a new window. So it is still not working. I will again clear the cache for four weeks. Let me try again. As you can see, after clearing the cache, it is working. So it was the cache that was causing an issue. Anyway, this will eventually work automatically within 24 to 48 hours for all. You won't require to clear the cache. Anyway, if I click here and go to connection is secure and the certificate is valid, here you can see the SSL is valid for three months. But don't worry, this will be automatically renewed. After configuring the SSL, let me log in to the dashboard. WP-admin. Log in with your details. We are in the dashboard. Let's go to plugins and add new. Search for really simple SSL plugin. You may or may not add this plugin but is recommended as it redirects from HTTP to HTTPS. Install now. This plugin is not necessary if your website is working well. 
Anyway, activate the plugin. So the plugin is activated. We have SSL, so go to settings. You can also test SSL grades by clicking on check manually. This will give a score to the SSL server, but this takes some time. Let this run. Do not click on install SSL as we already have SSL. This test is still running. Click on activate SSL. It is done. Close all notifications. Some are pro features too. Anyway, now enable this 301 HT access redirects. If there is any issues, you should correct it from the server. You will be logged out. Log in again. All done. Some of them are pro features. So everything looks well good. This is still analyzing. We will make another video for this. So this is how you can install SSL. Thank you very much.